see, six more minutes on the research. So now we just need to connect the iron plates. Or did we do that already? I am forgetting what I did. Oh yeah, it's already coming up. And it's already being mixed in with the rest of the iron plates. And you know what? Let's overclock this as well. Just these two. Alright, so... That should cover all of our iron plate needs for the time being. And then all of our excess screws will go here. Yeah, this overflows. I've already put the smart splitters in there. But how's this doing? Okay, so this is fine. This is all fine. Okay, so I think we need to start opening up these Okay, where are you? Reinforced iron plates. I'm gonna start activating these. Except the line goes all the way over here. You know what? Probably gonna need to draw some screws from here. How are we gonna do that though? Wait, those screws are going. Wait, never mind. I think we need to get some screws from over here. Either here or there. Okay, let's get this done. Put a splitter here. So I'm just gonna add three more to this thing. And put a splitter here. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's supposed to go here. Yeah, that should do it. I still have to extend this thing, which is kind of, uh, weird. Hang on. Two, three. Extend it like this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, iron plates are there. Then I'll have this turn into here. I wonder if this is too long.
That conveyor is too long by about... Not a whole lot. All right, there we go. Get this set up. I'm only going to do three for now. But I'm just setting this up for all six of these. And who knows, I might need all six like right now. So I might as well just set this up immediately. One, two, three. And then we're going to get plates over here. Wait, where are the plates anyway? All right, let's get the next research going. Alright, so we got steel coated plates. Gives us a lot of plates. Hmm. But we don't have any steel ingots in the factory, so maybe not. But it's a good option. Flexible framework. No, I'm pretty sure we're done with this. Charcoal. Seems useless. But I don't know. I mean, steel coated plate looks like the best option out of all of these. Alright, next hard drive. And then once I get this up and running, I will work on modular frames and then heavy modular frames. I still need lots of iron plates. Maybe I should also consider getting some more of some steel ingots in here. It's always an option. Uh, okay, one, two, three, and which one do I use though? Like we don't really have that many plates coming in here. thing is, with the steel coated plates, like, we do need to figure out how to get steel ingots in here. Unless I start cutting production of the steel beams and steel pipes and just bring it from our steel production area over there, because it's not really supplying much anyway. But we also need plastic, don't we? And plastic is not over there. Oh, this is tough. Still need to figure out how to make lots and lots of these things though. Or I can just bring the steel ingots immediately, combine it with the plastic here. Maybe. Well, let me see this. Okay, iron plates. So it produces 45 per minute, so if we bring... If we bring steel ingots in this direction, we'll have a lot of iron plates for the reinforced iron plate production. Like, a lot of them. We have Caterium ingots. And we do have space over here. And we can maybe like produce it over there, bring the plastic from over there, bring it like right over there, and we we probably need to clear that area out. So yeah, maybe we should do that.
But before we do that... Hang on. I do need to... Uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. It's time for me to make decisions, get them done. So I'm going to build the conveyor pull line. And then we're going to set up that area over there for iron plates. And then we have our plastic over here. Now this is plastic, right? Is this straight? Uh... You know what? I don't think that's straight. Probably gonna need this straight in case I need to add more stuff onto here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's jump up here. Oh, come. Come on. You seriously can't do this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, this is a problem, isn't it? You know, let's just put you here. Come on. Valid aim location. Huh? Come on. You are so valid. Okay, that'll have to do. Originally designed these lengths just for the hyper tubes. I didn't actually measure them out for conveyor belts. Unless I did and I forgot. Oops. Okay, so we need to bring it, like, right over there. I think... Probably need to cut this down. Might as well cut down all of these trees. Okay, let's start building these conveyor poles in this direction. I'm thinking we should just like put walls here. So nice and neat. Probably need to get back up here. And then we'll feed you, maybe like right here. Okay, let's go to the third floor. Or probably should do this first. In case we need it, we'll do this. Oops. 
Ah, damn it. Well, good thing I have this hyper tube right here. Makes it easy to go up. All right, how much time is left on this thing? Okay, two more minutes, and then we'll have our next research. In the meantime... Let's do this. You know, since we're putting it over there, probably shouldn't actually do this. And then we'll output it uh, after this line over here. I really don't want this to be a case of me, like, changing my mind all the damn time. So... Let's do... This. Come on. you over here line it up with that all right there we go next research I think this is the fastest research I've ever done okay Caterium computers Electrode circuit boards, encased industrial pipes. What is this? Rubber and petroleum coke. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Concrete and steel pipes. Four per minute. Okay, I have to check this now. Okay, so steel beams... We'll turn this into one. Steel beams and concrete into one encased industrial beam. Six per minute. Encased industrial pipe is four per minute. Now, why would I get this? I mean, really, why why get this? We'll just stick with steel beams. Now, electro circuit boards. We already have an alternate recipe for circuit boards. I don't see myself using petroleum coke to make this. Now, Caterium computers, probably not going to make this either, but since we don't have an alternate for this, might as well just take advantage of it. One more hard drive. Okay. Got some weird recipes. And so far, it looks like the only one I'm going to be using is that steel iron plate thing. Because I do need lots of this. Okay, so we have plastic going through here. You know what? What am I going to do? Build a ramp here. Conveyor here. Yeah, this way we can like do... We can do it like this. Except we'll do it right. Do this over here. And this over here. There we go. So we got plastic going down there. Etc. 
except... Wait a minute. I guess we can go put it on a second floor over here, right? Okay, let's go back there. Wait, how much room do we have in that little corner there? Gonna have to check this now. There's like this little amount of space here. So I'm thinking. Let's just build walls here. Here and into here. Wait, did we even need this conveyor pole here? Seems like we can do this. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So bring the plastic like right over here. And then we'll bring steel ingots from over there and just bring it directly here. We still have to disassemble all of this stuff. Okay, this thing is in the way though. I think that won't be a problem though. Maybe we should just leave it as is and then just have like Let's build it like right over here We'll make a conveyor line going through all of this stuff Just so we don't have to disassemble anything Because who knows, we might actually need to reconfigure it. Just uh, bring the ingots here. Let's just build some foundations here and then we'll build our production. We shouldn't need that many. I think we'll do like three foundries. Or not foundries, uh, three assemblers. And get some berries as well. I need concrete. Damn you, concrete. Okay, so we have concrete down there. We'll get it from there. Okay, which of these tubes are you? Okay, this takes me to concrete. Not directly, though. But it takes me there. T 
two, three, four. I need to get rid of these things. Now we do need to get rid of this biomass. Like I don't want to throw it away directly. I just want to turn it into like biofuel. Or maybe some biomass for this thing right here. I'm only using the leaves here and then the wood can go up here. I probably should get rid of the carcasses, the organs and the stuff here. I don't know why I'm saving them. I'm not actually using them. Okay, that should be good enough. And we're gonna head back over there. Again, I'm deciding to leave that makeshift area online just in case I need to have another makeshift line going. And I probably will in the future. Just need to get rid of the ingredients and then reconfigure it instead of like rebuilding it all over again. Alright, so we go over here. What are these things anyway? Can I blow them up? No, I can't. Okay, well, I have to get rid of this thing. Where's my chainsaw? There you are. I really don't like the scroll wheel for selecting stuff because it's just so hard. The more items and weapons that you have, the harder it becomes to selecting stuff. some ramps over here. Just so we can access this area. Wait, my inventory is not full. What the hell? So I'm not picking up any resources? Like, what's going on? Okay, let's just finish these ramps. Make it nice and clean. Alright, so we got this area over here we can use for building. And I'll just put down three of these assemblers. Alright. And then, is there enough clearance here? Yes, there is. Let's put down a mam. All right, so we have heavy oil residue. What? Okay, this gives us more heavy oil. So we could probably use that in future if we need like more fuel. Then insulated cable, combine wires with rubber. You know, this could be useful.